So I'm stop talking now and go get Brett. Say that again. Oh, the thought of a quivering liver makes me shiver. Yeah. Is that, is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what yeah. you said. Yeah, I, that's what I did say. Yeah. And now everybody on YouTube is going to hear you saying that, and they'll all well, be saying it tomorrow. Yeah. Because they want they want to be like you. That's going to be like a new catchphrase. Or it will. Something. It'll be on it'll be on TikTok before you know it. Yeah. It could be the qu quivering, the, the liver quiverers. Oh, well, you know those elevated enzymes. That's just kind of a creepy thing. I don't know. You know how I feel about that. Yeah. Well, I knew a guy that worked in an elevator factory, but I don't think they ever made any enzymes in there. Uh. Well, maybe they don't make the enzymes in the elevator factory, but maybe the enzymes ride the elevator after the elevator is built. That's probably what it is. Yeah. 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 I'm kind of excited for this breakfast. I don't go out to breakfast very often. Well, was the last time you went out to breakfast the time that you took me out to breakfast and we come to your place? Oh, I've been out maybe two or three times to breakfast since then, but it doesn't happen very often. The only thing I can remember about that was that I couldn't get you to stop flirting with the, with the waitresses. Oh, well, you know. They wouldn't hardly let us out of there without a kiss from you. You're just a chick magnet. Yeah. They like me. Yeah. Well, you got that Buddy Holly look. Yeah. You know, most of them they probably don't even know who he is. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. I do, though. I'm a big Buddy Holly fan. There you go. Paint the bus up like Buddy Holly's bus. It's tour bus. Well, that's some, there's some thought, there's some thought, there's some, there's some thought for it. Yeah. I don't know what kind of bus his, it's not the same kind of bus. I've, I've seen pictures of it. I don't know if it was a GMC or what it was. I'd have to look. They had an earlier GMC before yours was made. Right. I think it was a pre-47 and it had a whole different look, different setup and look to it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what they called that. They called them something different, something like I, I, a flexible or. Oh yeah, that's um, that's a different company, but yeah. I think flexible, if I remember correctly, was its own company. But they used some GM parts, right. like um, they had some of the same drivetrain or something like that. I I'd have to do some research. Now your bus is a GMC. Yeah. Okay. It's called a PD-3751. Yeah. Um, I do not know what the 51... I, I can't remember what the 51 is, but the 37 part, it was a 37-passenger bus. Okay. And um, as you remember, it's got the six-cylinder Detroit right. 6P-71. Yeah. And um, it's got the column shift transmission that's right and yeah I guess uh, people tell me that it's a bear to shift it to, to figure out how to do it I'm sure it is and um, it's it's got a really interesting linkage and everything because the engines in the back yeah. so you have to have all this long linkage to get to the transmission yeah because the transmissions way in the back too right um, I don't know exactly how that's set up because the engines turn sideways right. in the back. So there must be some sort of funky gear system because I, I would imagine the transmission is probably maybe perpendicular to it or something. I have no idea. Because I don't think there's not enough width to the bus to have the transmission like next to it. Right. It's true. You know, in the width of the bus. And the engine, if you look at it, takes up the whole most of the width of the bus right. in the back. So I'm thinking the transmission must be in front of it and maybe perpendicular. I'll have to look at it. I haven't really dug into it yet. So you're looking for a rear window. Is it one window or two windows? It's a split window. So is that just um, one? Yeah, well what it is is it's actually as far as I know it's two panels and the the back of the bus the roof curves you know like that so i think if you really look at it it's almost like two triangular panels that curve up and then there are straps that 
rivet it's riveted together right so i think it's two separate pieces and then it's riveted down the middle and then it's got a strap on each side that rivets it. it's kind of like an airplane setup maybe uh mr resto dan knows a little bit about how something like that goes together yeah it's a it's a riveting thing to think about um, and you know i uh I didn't even know how to wrap my head around it. I need some smart people to come help me look at it. I, yeah. I did find one guy in, I think it was either North or South Carolina, who has a scrap. Oh, wow. Right. That was fast. <laughs> That's good. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're so welcome. Can I get you to anything else? Uh, I think we got everything. <laughs> I think I'm going to be full. Awesome. Sounds good. Yeah. I must stop this camera so you can eat. All right. All right. Say bye to the tubers. Bye, YouTube.